Smoking isn't good for you. We all know that and we've talked about some of the damage it can cause in our other videos, which we'll put in the description below. But what about your teeth? When you picture a smoker, a couple different images could come in your mind. Most movies show some different depictions too. You might see a cool, hardcore guy holding guns who's very muscular and lighting up a cigarette. Others might show a drug addict who doesn't seem too healthy. Well, the reality is smoking causes about 90% of all lung cancer deaths and 80% of all deaths from COPD. But today we're going to ignore all of that and look specifically at what it does to your mouth. If you've ever been around a smoker, you can probably tell if they were just lighting one up. Their breath will have a pretty distinct smell, and as you're talking to them, you'll probably notice some yellowing of their teeth as well. Actually, in general, their mouth will just look unhealthy. But what exactly is the smoke doing to your mouth? As soon as you inhale on a cigarette, the toxins in the smoke start affecting your saliva. These toxins destroy the enzymes and proteins in your saliva, causing the saliva to lose its role in your mouth. Normally, saliva acts as a defense system in your mouth. It washes away plaque and food particles that are building up, and it keeps your mouth clean. Also, the enzymes and antibodies in saliva can destroy the bacteria on your teeth and prevent cavities, also keeping your breath smell fresh in the process. But that isn't the case when you're a smoker. The more you smoke, the more more of these toxins start to affect the saliva. Eventually, instead of protecting you, your saliva starts to harm you, even becoming an agent in oropharyngeal and oral cancer. You'll probably have a worse sense of smell and taste too, since smoking also damages your taste buds. So you might want to say bye to your favorite foods. Bye pizza! As we've said before, smokers tend to have stained teeth. Just like you have pores in your skin, you also have pores in your teeth. As you smoke a cigarette, the tar and nicotine in tobacco get absorbed into these pores and cause your teeth to look darker. And this is the case even with e-cigarettes with nicotine and chewing tobacco as well. The longer you've been smoking, the deeper these stains are embedded in your teeth and the darker these stains will become, basically making them harder to remove. Your gums won't be so healthy either. Smoking causes a lack of oxygen in your bloodstream and ultimately weakens your ability to fight off infections, aka your immune system. This means you'll probably end up with gum disease. Actually, smokers are at a six times higher risk of getting a severe severe gum disease compared to non-smokers. And don't expect this to heal right away either. Smoking also makes it harder for your body to recover, meaning your gums will stay infected for a while. Keep it up and your gum disease will only get worse possibly turning into periodontal disease. At this point, your gums aren't the only thing you're worried about. The infection has spread to the bones that surround your teeth, which may cause them to fall out. But there is some good news. Researchers found that smokers who had gum disease and quit showed a significant improvement within one year compared to those who kept smoking. In fact, the health of your body and mouth can greatly improve over time if you quit smoking. Not only this, your breath will smell better, your sense of taste and smell will improve, and you'll prevent any further staining of your teeth. And and if they're not too severe, most of these stains can be removed with professional whitening. Are you thinking about quitting? Try talking to your physician. There are many new products in the market that can help you quit. You may be surprised. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new tips every week.